Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. So Divine Masculine, I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss at my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards up right in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Divine Masculine. Get no fit nuts. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video if you find that the convent is not for you please look for the nearest exit mark get the fuck on watch hand on the way out hit that link you'll be back in turn thank you to everyone for all the bookings donations like subscribes comment shares purchases to my website and pledges to my patreon i love you all right divine masculine don't forget about the prayer event my g um on 10 9 24 okay at 7 a.m and 7 p.m it's looking like it's gonna be 33 minutes uh, for each time, for the 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. So you need to be there, too, because you know you be out here popping off them children, okay? Uh, this one for the babies, okay? So you need to be there. Um, yes, okay? But I'll remind you again. Divine Masculine, I really don't have any intuitive messages for you. I'm picking up that somebody may have to speak in court or testify or some shit like that or... Write something, sign some legal documents, or some shit like that, G. It seems real paperworky for you uh, in the next seven days. Like paperwork, legal documents, uh, notaries, uh, shit like that. So I don't know what you, business. So I feel like you're handling business um, in the next seven days. Feels like you're something making something legal. So i don't know what that means but that's what they said you're making something legal. well shit i hope so yeah but that's what they said you're making something legal i don't know let's just get started give me some messages here for divine masculine and how he'll be feeling about himself and the energy he's going to be in in the next seven days so this is my conceding card like okay you got it pretty much is what that card is or you and someone agree to disagree is what this card is, okay? So you may just be um, saying, you got it. You know what I mean? I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I don't want to this. I don't want to that. It's, it's whatever you say. Or somebody saying this to you. That's what that card is. That's also like uh, mimicking, like kind of like a, a clone card too a little bit. So it could be. But if that's the case, somebody just wants to please you. Like whatever you like. Like, you know, bark like a dog. You know, this type of shit. Uh, somebody wants to please you uh, is what this is too, okay? So either that's somebody conceding, like, okay, you win, you got it, you this, or this is somebody that wants to just make you happy. Yeah. Someone wants to, um, um, like express some type of uh, loyalty to you, Divine Masculine, or you want to do this. Somebody wants to, uh, I don't know if you want to show the world, show some people, show somebody. This could be posted something on social media. Somebody wants to make, that's why they said make something legal. But it could be just solidify something or make something known to the public. You know, it's kind of giving me like poor man copyright type of energy. If you know what that is, right? It's giving me like this. Like something that you're going to, um. it's almost like a dog pissing on the tree almost. You know what I mean? Like marking your territory. Somebody could be doing this to you or you could be doing this to somebody. But it's to let other people know something, okay? So let's see. Give me another one here. Somebody could be Asian out here. Somebody could be traveling to uh, Japan or China or something like that. Okay. Oh, the path to righteousness. That's what's up, Divine Masculine. So shit, you may just be like, fuck it. I'm just going to do the right thing. That's what this is. Like, fuck it. I'll, I'll be the bigger person. Um, I'll say sorry first. I'll be the first to say something. That's what this is, too. Uh, like, you taking the lead or somebody is in the next seven days. This is like doing the right thing, pretty much. Okay? It's going to be kind of hard to do. Okay? 
uh, and not that doing the right thing is hard to do, but there may, if I'm talking about this, this will be in a circumstance where, you know what I mean, you have the option to like get a motherfucker or no. Nah. I feel like you just move on quietly, G. But something's going to test you in the next seven days. It is, G. Okay, it could be something minor or major. I still don't know yet. But I do know that you'll be tested with like a decision. You'll have a decision to make. It's either just let some shit ride pretty much or get into some shit. I feel like you let something ride. Like it's not worth it or it's too much of a hassle to even go back and forth. This could be like a, a so you want to like prove your point and it's too much of a hassle to do that. But somebody's going to make sure that, that, their, that their point is proven. So this could be you divine masculine as far as you like, I don't even care. I'm just whatever. Whatever they say is whatever they got it. And somebody, you know what I mean, takes that and runs with it. You know, almost saying like, oh, he gave up, he's a punk, he's a this, he's a that, he couldn't even, this type of shit. I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like you're trying to uh, be the bigger person, take the higher road in some situation in the next seven days. So you may look like a punk to somebody uh, in the next seven days, but really you're not. Because I feel like really you could fuck some shit up or really like get in your bag or whatever the fuck it is that you could do. I feel like you don't do it. And I feel like you go the right way. You head north. Yes. Well, east on here, but shit, technically north. This is kind of like, um, uh, what is it? Turn the other cheek energy a little bit, divine masculine. I see you or someone else doing this in the next seven days, okay? Give me another one here. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Well, I hope you do. This is uh like my um like on your march get set go. You know what I mean? Like and they're off type, but this reverse. So shit. So divine masculine then in this case then this will be something where it's like, yeah, you do take the high road. But you feel like it's it's uh what's they said begrudgingly. Yeah, so this like, oh, motherfucker, you lucky bitch. It's like this type of energy. Like, you lucky I got to go pick up my kids from school right now or I have so much time, you know? It's like this type of energy. Like, uh, you may feel like um, you can, you ha you're going to be forced to make the right decision, Divine Masculine. It could be on a time crunch where it's like, I don't have time to argue with you. I got some shit to do. Like, you go ch choose to handle business uh, as opposed to arguing with somebody. Or I don't have time to do this. I got money to make. You know what I mean? You choose to go make some money opposed to doing whatever this is. Whatever this is that you're going to choose something else over. It doesn't really feel like a person. It feels like a situation. I feel like you. Uh, it bothers you for the rest of the seven days. Don't let it, G. It's like, uh, I wish I should have, or I should have said this, I should have said that, or I could have, you know, like that type of energy we get in sometimes where you don't do it because you know it's not the right thing to do, but you still be pissed off later. I, I know that feeling. I feel like, honestly, you do better off to work through your anger out of this situation as opposed to, like, working through this situation. So, say somebody just got a problem and they want to argue with you, but you know you got shit to do or it ain't worth it or your blessing is tied into something. And you're like, man, I ain't even about to fuck my shit up fucking around with this shit, right? So, you leave it alone. But the rest of the day, this makes me feel like it pissed you off. You know what I mean? Like, it kind of uh, fuck with your day. Whatever this is or somebody, Okay. I'm telling you, this, you're trying to do the right thing, and you really don't really, I don't want to say you don't want to, but it's harder to do the right thing than it is to not, okay, in this whatever situation I'm talking about, okay? Some of y'all just ain't going to be able to, to, to do it, and I know the feeling, G. This is like, uh, today I went to Target, and I came out, and I usually park, like, not close to Target, like, far away, so people don't park next to me because they park all close. When I come out, somebody park hella fucking close. I could barely get in my driver door. And I'm like, this one of them times where I be fucking shit up. Like, hmm. So I'm like, just put your stuff in the car, nun, and just wedge yourself in the car, man. You know I had to uh, push my car all the way up on their, like, you know, driver door. Like, when I left, I put my car right up on their driver door. Like, I rested the car on their car. Like, you know, I couldn't just drive away, G. When at least, you know, and I'm, I was saying, like, none you in the car. All you got to do is just drive away. Don't let these people fuck shit up. And I'm like, I can't. They gonna get my car gonna block that my my cart is gonna block them. I'm gonna turn all their mirrors in, which I did. I flipped all their mirrors in and everything. I didn't fuck nothing up, but it's like I can't just just walk away. You know what I mean? I couldn't do it, G. And I probably you know I 
I don't know. Something like that, divine masculine. This like having to say something. Having to do something. And you really don't have to. So that was a bad example because don't do what I did and shit. But that's what I'm saying. It's probably going to... You're going to do something, Jay. I don't feel like you're going to let some shit ride. I just feel like you're not going to do some shit like you normally would. Normally, I would have waited on the motherfucker to come back outside. Mm-hmm. And made a big old scene like, oh, I was waiting on you to get the fuck in my car type shit. You know what I mean? Make the person feel all bad. I'm, I'm them type of people. Uh, I used to have these little cutouts, uh, like these little pieces of paper with a picture of Mickey Mouse on it. And it said, let next time leave a can opener so I can get in my car, motherfucker. Right? And I used to have these little tickets, these little pieces of papers and shit that I would leave on people's windows with that saying. Next time leave a can opener so I can get in my car, motherfucker. But I didn't put one of them on the car or nothing. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I could go this way or I could go, right? I'm just going to concede. I kind of was on the path to righteousness. I didn't do none of that. But I did leave the cart in front of their door and I did push the mirrors in. You know, it's like this type of shit. And I'm, the fact that I'm talking about it now lets me know that it's still on my mind. Same thing with you with this. I couldn't, I really, I mean, I'm over it. But obviously I'm not if I'm talking about it. But it's one of these type of situations where it's like it's going to come back. Okay, so be careful what you do. That's what I said. You know, I'm not saying that you're not going to stand up for yourself or right a wrong or anything like that. But it's something about the way that you do it. Okay? It's something about the way that you do it and how you do some divine masculine. Because as a divine counterpart, speaking for myself, right, you know we can take shit hella fucking far. You know what I mean? Like, uh, blow shit all out of proportion if we wanted to. You know what I mean? You're just that smart. Where it's like, oh, I could fix you, motherfucker. My homegirl has some shit where it will just take all the air out your tires and shit. This little apparatus and shit. I feel like you can buy them anywhere. But she was like, girl, just twist that shit to the side. Man, we let air out of tires in like seconds. Psst, psst. I'd be on that type of shit. But I didn't this time. I just drove off. Like, it's not that serious. Don't deflate their tires. Don't leave them the Mickey Mouse note. None, it ain't that serious. It's like this type of shit, G. Like, you could go super fucking hard if you wanted to. But I see you kind of chilling because you know something will come back on you. But I don't feel like you let something ride completely. I really don't. I feel like you're still kind. This is being kind, courteous, generous. Uh, you know, still having uh, manners. Mild mannered, they said. All of that shit. I see you being that in the next seven days and that could be why somebody think they can test you and shit i don't know in my case that person wasn't there when i parked so it wasn't them trying to test me they just didn't give a fuck about nobody around them and shit just you know what i mean parked they oh montana and this ain't montana bitch okay this motherfucking la okay don't fuck around out here okay this could be this type of shit i took that into consideration like oh these some montana ass motherfuckers and nothing against montana shout out to y'all okay i don't know how y'all park at target down there but out here get wow okay watch your shit Okay, this like this type of shit. I had to take all that into consideration. Like, okay, you know, like it's not, you know, it's something like that. Divine masculine, you're gonna take everything into consideration before you make a decision to do something. If you decide to do something or not, I feel like the majority of y'all gonna decide to do something. Now, the fact that I told you the target story let me know that you do something, just not what you could do and what you would normally do if you were in karmic energy or just in your bag and your emo bag or any of that shit. I don't feel like you take it that far, but you damn sure make a fucking statement in the next seven days. You do. Ooh. Put some on the conceited card. Well, not conceited, but conceding. Somebody could be conceited out here. Okay? And somebody just think they the finest motherfucker in the world. And somebody like, yep, yeah, yeah, you are. Fuck it, you got it. I don't know if somebody really means it, but it's like, I'm not about to argue with you back and forth about how fine you are, who's the best and all this other shit. That's what this is too, Divine Masculine. Somebody may be thinking that they really are that motherfucker just because you let them have something. Okay? That's what this is. You know? Like, so somebody think they stole your girl when you really let them have that hope. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't about to chase no little raggedy bitch. Dude, you got her. You got her, bro. This type of shit. Now somebody going around talking about, yeah, I took his bitch. No, he let you have his bitch, sir. Uh, stop lying. Like, because that could have went a whole motherfucking different way. Okay, but because Divine Masculine is my homeboy and he like, fuck these hoes, he got on the path to righteousness and was like, let me weigh my options. Like, it is just a thought. It is just tricksy. I could trip up and, you know, just like this type of shit, but you don't. But I don't know what it is that you do, using that as an example. Whatever it is that you do, it still sticks with you, though. Good or bad. 
You know, you could be uh, sitting around later like, yeah, like I, I handled that well. You know, feeling proud of yourself, like I handled that shit well. Or some of y'all gonna be sitting around later on and gonna be like, man, I, I should have said this, I would have said this, I could have, and this type of shit. I don't feel like that's the majority of you. I feel like the majority of you are like, that went well. I feel like you're gonna be proud of yourself in the next seven days. But there's something that you're gonna keep replaying over in your head though, for sure, about how you handle the situation and maybe wondering if you handled it correctly. I don't know, it depends on whatever the situation is. But I do see you guys recalling a situation and um, going over in your head about your part. Maybe So this could be you taking accountability or this is just, you know, shit, you remember some shit. Mm -hmm. Gucci May. Uh, I like this song though, but shit, I forgot he was on that shit. Moving on, put some on the conceding card. Ooh, no, she didn't, y'all. Yes, she did. Y'all never uh, cease to amaze me with these readings when the same shit come out. Amy Winehouse. Yeah, so this could be somebody acting disorderly, G, okay? And you like, man, I don't need, this like somebody drunk and shit or high or just acting all belligerent and shit. And you like, man, you got it. You know what I mean? I ain't even about to be making no scene outside of wherever the fuck y'all are. This could be a public place. You know what I mean? And somebody just start going crazy and you don't go crazy because you like, I don't want people looking at me like I'm a motherfucking animal. So if you want to scream and act all crazy, then you do that. It's like, you got it. You know, it's like you walking out the restaurant, leaving some bitch there, just acting all crazy and shit. And this will be you going over it later. Like, should I have left the bitch there? Remember, I was like, you gonna go over something in your head. Should I have just left the bitch in the restaurant screaming or should I have tried to work it out? This is you later on, like wondering if you made the right decision. That's what I'm picking up on. But if it's Amy, you damn sure did, G. You can't be whooping up on Amy. We can't be whooping up on nobody. But for real, though, this makes me feel like somebody tries to get you out of pocket G like real angry or embarrass you in front of people or call you out or some shit like that and I feel like you just say alright then you know you handle that shit like a man but I feel like your fist clenched up or you really pissed the fuck off like you know it take a lot out of you to be in this righteous energy here I don't feel like it's easy uh, for you whatever this is and somebody knows that shit in the next seven days somebody out here has an eating disorder as well they, they, they binge and purge, so they eat a bunch of food and then they throw it up. Uh, it could be a man that just is trying to stay thin, I guess. I don't know. Or some substance abuse. I'll be damned this boy didn't come on. So this is your reading, Divine Masculine. I don't know if there's a Divine Masculine with a eating disorder or a substance abuse problem. But this person could be losing weight. It says eating disorder. So, or somebody needs to go to rehab. Somebody's really thin out here. Somebody could be Jewish or somebody could be from uh, London. I also feel like some of you guys could be getting a tattoo, Divine Masculine, uh, of, of for someone. Or somebody's getting a tattoo. For, uh, that's why I said somebody's trying to like uh, profess their love. So it's like to let the world know. So some of y'all can get a tattoo with your girl's name. You know what I mean? And it's just let everybody know, like, this is my girl. Or somebody gets a tattoo of your name to let them know that, you know what I mean, you're theirs or some shit like that. Somebody tries to make a statement out here, Divine Masculine. Crazy shit is, I feel like whoever's making this statement is the person that wants you to get out of pocket though. So this person that gets a tattoo with someone's name is to make you feel some type of way too. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's like that. You know what I mean? For you to say something. It's like, well, shit, I guess that's your bitch now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. Somebody tries to make you feel jealous. That's what this feels like, too. Somebody wants you to feel jealous or envious or something or feel like um, you have less than them or this you doing shit. I don't know. Somebody's doing this shit. And I feel like somebody just doesn't even go back and forth with somebody. Like, man, whatever you got it, shit, you know? Something like that. Somebody out here damn sure drinks and uh drinks a lot of alcohol and on, on dope. Okay? Same shit like divine feminine shit a little bit. But I feel like somebody relapses. It's like somebody giving that shit up on the path to righteousness and then they relapse and go back. So this like Amy being clean for a while and then she just, you know what I mean? So somebody out here is uh relapsing in the next seven days. They are. Damn. Yeah, I feel like somebody out here, like, trips out on drugs or alcohol or 
uh, some shit like that divine masculine, okay? You could be from Los Angeles, uh, London, uh, yeah. Put one on this, uh, Path to Righteousness card. E.T. So you feel it's the right thing. So look, that whatever this thing is, right, that you feel like, man, I don't know if I handled that right, or man, I wish I should have, you know, whatever you end up doing to my masculine is the right decision. Whichever scenario it is, if it's in a relationship and the bitch start tripping, or people just, I don't know what, what happens, G. I feel like however you handle this situation is the best way. The best way that you know how to in the situation that you put in. It's like, this is stranded. It's like somebody leaving you uh, somewhere and shit. You know what I mean? And it's like to make you feel some type of way. And then when you get to the house, they all sitting there and shit. And when you come in, everybody's expecting you to, to trip or say something, which a motherfucker would. Like you leave me stranded somewhere and I had to walk home or Uber home or some shit like that. This would be you or somebody coming in the house and not saying shit. Like, man, whatever. And then just going straight, you know, quiet or whatever. But in the back of their head, right? They're like, should I go in there and say some shit and be like, how the fuck could you just leave me stranded? This, this, that, and the other. I mean, shit. It says somebody just doing the silent thing and not saying shit is, makes a louder statement. So your silence, divine masculine or divine feminine, is killing someone. Or it will in the next seven days. That's what this is. Young good enough to fuck your mama. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's about two chains, okay? Yeah. Divine masculine, I feel like this this feels like regrets, but I feel like you shouldn't have them though. That's what this feels like regrets you shouldn't have. But um, that's what regrets are. You know what I mean? Like about things that we've done in the past that we kind of can't change and shit. But I feel like you handle whatever this is, I mean, well, to, to me. Or somebody did. It's like somebody, it's like somebody who was uh messing around with somebody, a third party, and then somebody decides uh, shit, perfect example. Not to call you out divine masculine, but this will be like you fucking around with Tatiana and a divine feminine. And instead of the divine feminine telling Tatiana y'all were fucking around, the divine feminine or you, right? Just exit. Just gracefully exit. But in the back of their mind, they're like, man, I don't know if I should have told that bitch. I should, you know, that's like what this is. But somebody doesn't do it though. So it's like going over your mind. You know, like you uh, think about like all the bad shit you could do. You think about it, but you don't necessarily do it. That's what this feels like in the next seven days. Like anger, but like you don't really, you don't lash out at anybody. So you're going to have to find some type of way to uh, release whatever this feeling is because you definitely hold something in. You definitely don't give somebody a piece of your mind or say what you could say or do what you could do. So there's some outlet that you're going to need to release whatever this energy is, okay? Because I don't feel like you can just sit there and be quiet or content with whatever this is, you know? Some of y'all could have been born in 1982. Some of y'all could be from, yeah, I said Los Angeles, but this says California. Yeah. Phone home. Yeah, somebody gets stuck somewhere. I don't know if somebody leaves somebody, put somebody out of car, or just leave somebody somewhere in another state, city, country, or some shit. But somebody has to find a way back home or back somewhere. Somebody goes on a vacation or goes traveling with somebody or someone moves with someone, but like far away from where they, they're originally from and this person gets homesick or they miss their family or some shit, but I don't know. I feel like somebody wants to please someone. It's like somebody moving with somebody and somebody asks them to come and they're like, yeah, I'll come with you. I'll go anywhere with you. I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. And then when the person gets there, they feel like they made a mistake. Okay. So I, I don't know who that's for. And then someone goes over in their head, was this the right decision to come here? Was this the right decision to move here with him or move here with her or do this or do that? But it's telling me, I mean, somebody went with their intuition. It's either somebody went with their intuition or will or somebody going to go just in, in the dark. You know what I mean? But I like the path to righteousness, though. That's why I'm saying I feel like you make a good decision, whatever it is that you do or divine feminine, whoever it is. You know, this could be something where... <clears throat> Excuse me, you don't really have proof or something, but you just bow out. Because shit, this like Amy on dope and, and alcohol and all fucked up, and you don't know what's really wrong with Amy with this moon. She acting real weird, though, with this E.T. shit, 
Right? That's what this is. It's like, I don't even know what the fuck you on. It's like this type of shit. I don't know what's wrong with Amy. Amy, I don't know what you did ingested and shit, but I'm goody on this shit, Amy. Right? Says you were someone else. And then they keep it moving. They just decide to be quieter, and, you know? But then someone says, was I right to just dip out on Amy like that? You know, ghost Amy like that? Or hell yeah, you were. Something wrong with Amy, G. Something wrong with Amy. Yeah. It's like this type of energy, Divine Masculine. You may be questioning yourself about a decision that you made, but I feel like at the time it was the best decision that you could have made. You know what I mean? That was the best decision at the time. With the information that you knew, how you felt, you got to take all that into consideration. That's why I said when I left Target, I'm like, this motherfucker from Montana and shit. And nothing against Montana, but I'm like, they must not know how the fuck we get down in LA and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I was nice uh, for me to just push their mirrors in and leave my cart up against their car like that. You know what I mean? Somebody else would have scraped they shit all up. All types of shit. This L.A., you know? Uh, so I guess it ain't really the same because I ain't really going over it like that. Like, man, I should have bashed in their window. No, so I don't feel like it's that serious. But I was just using that as an example to let you know, like, something that you may be... You, you're a uh, divine masculine. You could take something way further if you want to in the next seven days. But you decide to go the high vibing route. That's basically what this is, Okay. And good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Okay? Some about two men. Okay? But one of y'all on drugs. Real bad. All fucked up. And one decides to leave another one. Okay? I don't know if y'all together. Y'all could be related. Y'all could be friends. Y'all could work together. But one is all fucked up. And another one's like, I know this is my fucking cue to leave. But the one that leaves is like, man, should I have just left so-and-so like that? Hell yeah, they all doped up and high and fucking shit up. This is like, uh, so Divine Masculine, your loyalty may be tested. That may be what this is. But I feel like it's between you and your loyalty. Like you being loyal to yourself or you being loyal to somebody else. That's what this is in the next seven days, okay? That's why you keep going back over it in your head. You know what I mean? Like, should I have done so-and-so like that or handled that situation like that? But I feel like at the time, that was the best decision that you could have made, G. So it makes me feel like something was up with you. Something was affecting you. Like, it's me or them type of energy. And you chose, or you will, or you're going you gonna to choose yourself in the next seven days. Or if somebody is divine feminine, you're going to choose yourself. Divine masculine, you're going to choose yourself. And that's what somebody's going over in their head. Uh, was I right to choose myself? Should I have waited on this person? Should I give this person another chance? Heard them out, took into consideration this, that, and the other. But I feel like y'all did all that shit. That's what this says. If this path to righteousness hadn't come out, then I'd be like, yeah, maybe you're right. You know, but hell no, you were divinely guided to leave some shit. Whether you got all the info or not, something intuitive, in, something will intuitively tell you to get the fuck on for you, get spit the fuck on. And you right about it, G. This could have happened already. Some of y'all could have left some shit. Um, uh, separated from someone or just left an entire group, city, state, job, or something. And later on, you were thinking about it like, man, was that the right thing to do? You know what I mean? The way I did it, this and that. Look at where you are now. If it's better where you are now, then you know for sure it was the right thing to do. Is your life better? You know what I mean? Is your, did your monies come up? Are you doing better? Do you feel better? Then, yeah, it was definitely the right decision. But I still see you going over it. You know what I mean? In your head. And I feel like that's normal. It's like you divorcing somebody and you are doing well after the divorce. Or the separation of some shit, but you feel bad, like man, I left my family to this. You know what I mean? This, 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 this could be like guilt a little bit, but it's like you remembering or going over something in your head is what this is. It may come every now and then. This could be like um, they're telling me some of y'all have survivor's guilt. You know what I mean? And it's like you did what you could do at the time. So maybe you weren't there when someone passed away. You know what I mean? Maybe y'all were going through some shit and you like, fuck, you know, but you were divinely guided maybe not to be around that person at that time because God knew what was going to happen. But then this would be you saying, man, if only I was fucking there. You know what I mean? I could have did this. I could have did that. I feel like you could only do what you knew how to do at the time, my G. For real. I feel like uh, don't beat yourself up, divine masculine for, or divine feminine for whatever this is. That's what this feels like, beating yourself up in the next seven days, okay? That's why I like the Path to Righteousness card out here because I know there's no need for you to do that. You either made the best decision you knew how to make or you could make or it was a, it was a, a good decision. You know what I mean? This is like you can't worry about what, how everybody else feeling about some shit, pretty much. And it says you want an asshole with whatever you did. So some of y'all are like, man, I shouldn't have just left like that. Left like what, G? 
all courteous and kind and you know what I mean this ain't like you slamming doors and bleaching people shit and you know busting wind this ain't none of that shit it's like oh well you got it you got somebody else cool and I'll just move and go do my own thing I ain't about to you know bust no nutty or none of, none of that shit right but then this is somebody later on saying should I have just let that go like that and this and that hell yeah hell yeah or should I have just abandon that like that yes G you sure should have or you sure should have divine feminine somebody yeah, you're, you're absolutely right for doing handling some shit the way that you do. Shit, the fuck? Don't get me upset, okay? I don't even know why. Shit, now. I heard mistrial. <clears throat> Damn, a bunch of cards fell over. Yeah, five people are going to be, uh, are going to be, uh, undecided. In like a jury trial, so if it's 12, five of them ain't gonna know what the fuck going on. They gonna be like, we don't know, we don't, we don't, we don't know. It's gonna be a mistrial with something, okay? Side note, uh, whoever's dealing with some legal shit, put something on this going back <clears throat> card. Mary J. Blige came out. When I saw the Halloween card, I mean Halloween, right, that says that there, I thought about like a monster or evil or the devil, and then Mary J. Blige came out. Not that she's a monster, evil, or the devil, but she is a Capricorn, okay? So this technically would be the devil here, okay? <clears throat> yeah, this is like um some thought, Divine Masculine, or some vice. Somebody out here definitely relapses, G, on some dope, some something. Alcohol, they fall off the wagon, I heard. Somebody there sure does. This could be because of some type of breakup or some type of uh, sadness somebody's going through, some type of grief or loneliness or something like that. Somebody relapses out here. <clears throat> Somebody out here is listening to real sad music or going through it. Whenever you turn Mary J. Blige on, like the beginnings of Mary, right, when Mary was going through it, that's all breakup music, okay, like to help you get through some shit. Mary healed and then we got the... Don't need no hateration, holleration in the dancery. But this says not gonna cry. Okay, we know what's the 411 and all them. My life, that was like blues. You know, yeah, the blues. Yeah, somebody's going through it out here. Somebody's gonna be sad in the next seven days. Somebody out here, okay, so the whole the whole conversation about you making the right decision out here, divine masculine or divine feminine, yes. But there's also somebody out here that makes a bad decision, G. And it comes back on their ass real bad. And now somebody's sitting like, I knew I should have just left. I knew I should have told them no. I knew I should. This somebody who in trouble like a motherfucker. This feels like somebody about to get in trouble with the, with the feds or the police and shit. And before they get in trouble with the feds and the police, somebody sitting at home or wherever they are, going through all the shit that they did in their head, thinking about all the chances they had to leave or to say no or stand up for someone or do the right thing. Somebody out here is sitting here wishing they could rewind time like a motherfucker, but they ass in trouble. Whoever this is got legal issues, okay? Whoever this is got legal problems up the ass or they're about to. And this person getting high as fuck and drunk as fuck right now. Okay? Whoever this is in the next seven days. Yeah, Divine Masculine. Um, you They said you know deep down who the devil is. Okay? So it goes back to that um, situation. So the devil don't look like the devil in the next seven days, okay? I don't know what it looks like. It could look like your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your best friend, your family. So I don't know what the devil looks like, but it comes in some type of form where it's got you questioning, should I leave the devil? But I feel like it's because you don't know it's the devil, though. You know what I mean? You don't know that it's evil, you know? So you don't know why Amy acting like that, right? But Amy on dope. And alcohol and shit, but this is you saying maybe Amy was having a nervous breakdown. Maybe I was wrong for just leaving Amy in a in a bad spot. You know what I mean? Or leaving Amy crying and all that, right? Amy was high on dope. Amy could have hurt you and all this shit. No, you were right to leave Amy right where she was. It's like you 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 didn't know Amy was like on that dope, G. This is like you could be looking at, I don't know, divine asking. You could have been looking at someone or looking at someone or some situation, damn sure with divine eyes, but I feel like you need to put your hood eyes on, G. Okay, your street eyes on for some of y'all, okay, in regards to some situation. 
Like, you know, you may be too deep into something, too far into something to realize the devil that you fucking with. Yeah, you know, they say, know the devil that you working with, working for, living, sleeping next to, right, all that shit. I feel like you're about to uh, get a deep look, okay, or take a, you need to take a deeper look into something. But I feel like it's not even you taking a deeper look. I feel like it's going to be shown to you. So this, this decision where I was like, you separated from something and now you're questioning if that was the right thing. You already did this. <clears throat> you separated from somebody, someplace, something, or somebody did this from you, right? And somebody's questioning, like, damn, was that the right thing? Maybe it is this person. Maybe I am. Nah, you were totally right for leaving, for ghosting, for shutting down, quietly, moving, changing your number, quitting, whatever the fuck this shit is. You were right for doing that shit. I feel like y'all are still waiting on answers <clears throat> about the situation. It's like moving in the dark. So it's like God telling you to keep moving. Don't stay there. You don't know why. You don't know why he told you to leave, why he told you to quit, why, whatever the fuck, right? This is about to come back around is what this is, okay? So something y'all didn't know, something you couldn't figure out because you separated from it or you've healed from it, you know what I mean? Removed yourself from it. I feel like the answers are about to come. It makes me feel like when you're in a safe place mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, some information comes to you about something in the past that you were separated from. And I feel like you're going to find out it was a good decision that you did that shit. I'm telling you. <clears throat> yeah, Independence Day. Yeah, y'all separated from someone, somebody. You could be from Washington, D.C. Um, I'm sure Mary's from New York. I just don't remember where. Uh, California, London, out here, okay? 1996 or 1982 could be significant. Yeah, whatever this is, you, uh, I feel like this is something that you feel guilty about <clears throat> leaving, abandoning, separating from, or something. Now, some of y'all, you may feel this way because you uh, want that shit back. This could be we want somebody back, Divine Mask, and you're like, fuck, man, why the fuck did I do that shit? And playing devil's advocate and public defender, right, for you, I feel like that's the best, I mean, that's all you knew at the time. So let's say you got rid of a Divine Feminine and you picked Tatiana. I mean, shit, that's all you knew to do. Uh, is what this is. Some about the devil coming back around though. So I feel like you get a maybe you separate from Tatiana. You know what I mean? And since you separated from Tatiana and Divine Feminine, you're getting a, a broader look, right? A broader uh, perspective of who's who and what's going on. <clears throat> it could be something like that. And you going over in your head like, why did I do that shit to Divine Feminine? Why did I, you know this? But it's it's that's that's over and done. And like I said, I'm your public defender, so that really is all you knew at the time. So maybe you ain't never known shit but Tatiana's and shit. And when Divine Feminine came around, you just thought she was a lion dog face pony soldier. Like she a Tatiana too. So I might as well pick the other Tatiana because I know Tatiana says you when you went along with Tatiana, found out she ain't shit, right? And this will be you going over in your head like, why the fuck did I pick fucking Tatiana? What the fuck? You know, it's, hey, hey. <clears throat> You were high and you were stoned. That's what it says. You wanted to please somebody or you and somebody were in some type of agreement, okay, or contract that we're going to work this out. Maybe you were trying to work it out with Tatiana at the time. So you went ahead. It felt like the right thing to do. Maybe it was. Maybe some contract had to write out, some karmic contract, and you didn't know that, okay? And now that you and Tatiana are over, you're going over like, what the fuck? Why did I do this? Why did I? I feel like it's supposed to be that way. <clears throat> Whatever happened, Divine Masculine, whether you feel like, you handled it well or not, that's the way it was supposed to go, okay? So just remember that in the next seven days, okay? I keep feeling like you, I don't want to keep giving you like no hook, no too many hood passes, but they keep saying you didn't know no better, my G. So you could have been real young, you know? This is like um, sign into somebody, you know what I mean? And now that you're older, you're like, why the fuck did I sign that deal or sign that contract? You didn't know no better. You could have been in a real bad place where you needed this fucking money, <clears throat> is what they're showing me. Uh, they're showing me Tupac in jail. And they're showing me Suge Knight come bring him a contract in jail. I'm sure uh, Tupac later on was like, why the fuck did I sign that death row shit? Yeah, you were in prison, my G. And you was ready to get the fuck up out of there. You needed some money when you got out, like all types of shit. We know why he did it. Uh, for those that know what story I'm talking about, right? It was at the time. You know, that was the best decision he knew how to make at the time and shit. Granted, it did come back and bite him in the ass, right? There's something coming back to get that ass, and this the devil. So that's, I mean, shit, it could be something like that divine masculine, but I still feel like 
this was a decision that was made at a time when you could have been under, like, you could have been distressed or some shit like that or stuck in a bad place. I feel like some of y'all are regretting a decision that, well, some of you, right, are regretting a decision that you made when you were stuck in a bad place. But again, I don't feel like you had... I mean, you might have had some other choices, but I feel like you went with the best one, G. You know what I mean? And normally, I wouldn't be having your back like that. Not this much, it's because this felt like a bad decision, honestly. But if they showing me Tupac in jail, you know what I mean? Bro had got shot already, had been accused of sexual assault. Like, he had had a bad trip, G, already. You know what I mean? So when Suge came, he was probably like, man, this is the only motherfucker that's really looking out for me right now. Offer me some real fucking money. You know, this type of shit. But it was one of the worst decisions ever. And I'm sure Tupac was thinking that shit. You know, I feel like that's kind of how he's making me feel right now. You know, like, but where I was. Yeah, but look where I was is what he just said. Yeah, look where he was. But now he's showing me him in the car in Las Vegas. You know what I mean? Like, all that shit flashed back in his head, he's telling me. Like, when that time when he got shot in Las Vegas, he's telling me he remember at that time, he remembered signing the contract while he was in jail. Like, had I never done that, I would never be in this car with Suge right now. Like, none of this shit would be happening. It's how he's making me feel. Like, recollecting some shit. Remember, I was like, you gonna recall some shit and be like, fuck, man, why'd I do that shit? But he's telling me it's the best, that's, that's all I knew at the time was to sign with Suge. Now I'm in Las Vegas, motherfucker shooting at the car, and that was the end of me, is what he's telling me, G. So shit, I don't know. Be, just be careful, Divine Masculine. I don't know which scenario fits you. I don't know if you're, you got out of something. I don't know if you are in something or something that you signed up for a long time ago is like coming back around to bite you in the ass. Or something you were involved in, you know? It's just, that's what it is. Mm. Let me see where you are in this. That's cold. He giving me like an eerie feeling. Tupac. <clears throat> For some reason. I don't feel like eerie when he comes around normally. But right now I do. Like, uh. L looming. It looms. He said. It looms. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's the decision, you know? It's how he's making me feel like, fuck, man. I told y'all he wanted to be an actor is what he always tells me and shit. Like, I didn't even want to do this rap shit. Like, you know, I didn't want to do it no more. I wanted to do He wanted to be Denzel in training day. I'm telling you, that's what he always tells me. Like, that was supposed to be my part and shit. I was supposed to be Alonzo. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, let's move on. He tell me that all the time. I'm like, I could totally see that shit, though. I'm like, that, that I could see you being Alonzo in training day. He would have made a good one, too. Uh, for sure. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, where's Divine Masculine in this? What's up? Ooh, you came out reverse, buddy. You and somebody else. So here go these two men in this car, right? They came out reverse. This is my driver's ed card. This is like um, being guided. Uh, but this could be guided by an actual human. So I like the fact that it came out reverse since you have the path to righteousness here because you usually do travel this road alone. You may meet some people on the way, but not everybody can come with you. That's why this is reverse. So whoever the, this man is here, right, with this Amy shit, this is the same person. So you separated from somebody, whether it be a man or a woman. This could be a friend, a lover, shit, a family member, a uh, a co-worker, a business partner, somebody can't go with you. Y'all dipping out on somebody or somebody dipped on somebody or will, okay? And somebody's going to feel like, damn, am I bad for doing this shit, man? Like, you know, but I'm telling you, Divine Master, I feel like you're not. For the majority of y'all, I feel like you are divinely guided and intuitively guided to leave something, okay? Just let something go. This could be some money. Let a bitch have some shit. Let a motherfucker have whatever the fuck it is that they're supposed to, that they want. It's like you letting them have it and then keep it on moving, but this is like, man, was that the best decision? Did I just give up on some shit? It's like you asking this shit, but I feel like, um... Not to keep beating a dead horse, but again, it was the best decision you knew how to make or you will know how to make at the at the time. And I also feel like it's also the right decision, too. Or you, Divine Feminine. Somebody can't go or somebody couldn't go with somebody or can't or somebody. It's something like that. Okay? I feel like you or someone else feels bad for leaving somebody or abandoning somebody or they feel like they did. But I feel like that's, that, number one, they, they either had no control over this shit or they had to take control over this shit. It's like one or the other. Shit. Yeah.
Somebody's name could be Rick or Ross. Somebody could be from Florida or Miami. <clears throat> Divine masculine, something that you uh, abandoned and left, <clears throat> right? You may not know that whatever this is you abandoned and left is about to be sickened, okay? Whatever it is, a business, a relationship, a friend group, you you were uh, divinely guided out of something. This could be a shady ass. This could be Judas, my G. And God, like, I want you to leave Judas. And you're like, man, me and Judas got a business. Me and Judas got kids. We married. We this, we that. God, like, leave Judas alone. And you just dip out on Judas. And you really don't know why God told you to dip out on Judas. Moon card, right? And so you go, you dip out on Judas. That's what this says. You separate. Later on, you're going to find out Judas was Judas. Gee, something comes back around where you're like, oh, that's why. Yeah, I feel like you make the right decision. I feel like you just don't get the answers that you want right away, but you make the right decision or you do divine feminine in the next seven days. Somebody could just decide to go independent and not sign no contract. If this is like some music shit or something, or somebody decides to be independently contracted or somebody decides to be single, you know what I mean? Like I don't choose to move further with this relationship or anything like that. And then somebody's like, was that the right decision to just leave Brad or leave Tina? Leave Yes, G. You may not have known. Why? Because it's like, damn, maybe you still got feelings for somebody. And it's like, man, I don't know. But some telling me leave this shit alone. And I love them like, like hard. You know what I mean? But some telling me to get the fuck on. Man, you right. Shit. You right. So pay attention to your intuition, Divine Masculine, in the next seven. If it tells you not to invite somebody, roll with somebody, separate from somebody, don't get involved in some shit where you normally would, you know what I mean? Or you feel like it's your, uh, like you're, you've been tasked to do so. I feel like double check with the most high on that. <clears throat> Cause I feel like your first mind is going to tell you to leave or just be quiet or separate from something. Your second mind is going to tell you to get all up in this shit. G. That, that's what this is. Go with your first mind. Okay, even if later on you uh, challenge your first mind, like, man, I should have said something, I should have did something. No, G, I'm telling you, they're telling me you shouldn't have or you shouldn't. Okay, I'm telling you. Put us on these two men reverse here. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Yeah, something to do with a relationship. Something about London. We even got it twice, G. Somebody's first, mm -hmm, first, middle, or last name could be London. Uh, somebody damn sure could be from London. We got California out here, uh, New York. I saw Florida, Washington, D.C., okay? <clears throat> somebody could be biracial out here. Somebody could, I don't know if I'm asking, I'm asking you where you are. I mean, I'm asking where you are. You could be this biracial person or uh, white. I don't know, but I feel like you're the one that's being asked to separate from somebody, G. And you worried about how it's going to look or what people are going to say or... You know what I mean? I'm going to look like I made a bad... No, you won't. Down the, Maybe in the beginning, you do. Maybe in the beginning, you do. Because nobody knows the truth. Nobody knows what's going on. Maybe not even you. you like, I just feel divinely... Maybe this to marry somebody. This could be this too. Like, man, I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to separate from this person, right? And be with this person and shit is what this is. And then later on, you're like, man, was I right to leave that other person and get with this person and this and that? And you know what I mean? Maybe I was wrong and, and all this other shit. You're about to get some answers about why you did something that you did unknowingly or you did just like you know on faith on blind faith that's what this is you moving like on blind faith and shit and it's you're questioning like was that the right thing but I, because they just said that it was blind faith i know you did the right thing or divine feminine i know you're doing the right thing for sure <clears throat> that's what faith is if you knew what was gonna happen then it would be considered faith faith would be like uh we walk by faith not by sight moon right so i feel like you moving like that and that's what's up. And the devil could be trying to trick you and shit and make you go back as well. Uh, trying to tell you you made a wrong decision and all that other shit. But I feel like this is a faith-based thing going on right here. I feel like keep keep moving. Even if you seem unsure about something, uh, Divine Masculine, keep moving, G. Especially if your life is getting better. Because they're making me feel like life is good or life is getting better or you're seeing an, an increase in something. Or you're getting more rest. Yeah, an increase in whatever it is. Rest, money. Uh, your mind state, your mindset, everything. Like something's resetting. Something's like uh, charging up. It's something to do with you. But I feel like in the midst of this charge up, there's something that's going to get in your head to make you feel like you should go back to something, someone. Maybe you were wrong for leaving. Maybe I'm healthy enough to go back and deal with this again or some shit like that. Man, don't fucking do it, G. Don't do it. 
okay? Maybe you feel lonely right now. You miss somebody, miss some people, miss something. But I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Because you about to find out whatever this is that you left is the fucking devil, okay? In the next seven days. We're about to go to Patreon. <clears throat> If you'd like to follow us there, please click the link in the description box below this video here on YouTube to follow us on Patreon. If not Divine Masculine, that's been your reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine. So thank you for visiting my channel, my trip in the Nautero. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear, your lifelike deck, your doll face deck at thegettonun.com. And I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.